You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl, you can spend it oh. And everything is alright Hello my darlings, welcome back to part 5 of the patio installation building vlog hope you're all okay it's glorious today it's so warm as you can see I've got the bikini top on <laughs> it's beautiful right a little bit of an update uh, the furniture didn't arrive it's what day are we on Friday so it should have come yesterday um, it hasn't arrived I found them at quarter to five and they said that we was the next stop he would be with us in about an hour he was just leaving Aberystwyth which is about an hour away from us um, and he never turned up so I've rang the delivery company this morning and they said oh uh, this the store that you bought it from rang them and said that they dispatched the wrong item and not to deliver it and that they was going to phone and let me know well they never so I've rang them up this morning um, and they said they'd sent out the wrong table because you could get the set that we've ordered with a, just the table without the fire pit in so I'm presuming they sent the wrong one wrong without the fire pit in so that's why it wasn't delivered uh, so it's not coming until Monday now um, which is neither here nor there really it's been inconvenient because we wanted to get it onto the patio so you know we could at least have one day over the weekend of enjoying it however the weather's going to be nice all week again next week so yeah it, i'm not going to stress over it it's coming on monday and we've got plenty to be doing um while we're waiting you know we've got tons to be going on with so yeah uh quite a few bits and pieces to do today uh got some electrical work to do and get the sockets on the walls and the consumer unit we've got some more um, stone to put down so there's there's plenty of stuff to be going on with I've got the fridge that goes underneath the, the uh, sink you know the stainless steel sink Les has checked it it's working so that needs cleaning so yeah there's plenty to do what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna get you off the tripod and take you round because as you can see we've put the table and chairs on the patio so I'm just gonna you know show you uh, where we are so far so I'm just gonna take you off the tripod and spin you around so first things first Leslie's new lawnmower has arrived <laughs> it come this morning and he's really really pleased with it so yeah um, he's got a he's bought a small he's got a big one but there's places he can't get with that big one so he's bought this smaller one it's also got a basket on the back that picks up all the you know the excess grass because the big one doesn't do that um right so yeah that's leslie's lawnmower now this is how the patio is looking so far this is what i've done yesterday i've cleaned all this up around here but that has all got to be cleared out as you can see there's all sorts of bits and pieces in there but that's all going to come out and yeah these doors I'll, these are from inside when it was a school um, they've all got to be took over to the fire and the scaffolding and everything got out and yeah all tidied up and then I think Les is going to use this to keep the lawn mowers in and he's putting doors on it uh, you've saw the brolly haven't you and I've got the table and chairs this is where the fire's going to go the fire pit table so we've put the table and chairs out onto the patio and I think it looks really nice we're going to get the umbrella out after look at my little elephant I did him this morning sitting at the table here how nice is he with those flowers in the top I've put some uh, bricks in to weigh him down a little bit but I couldn't get loads in but yeah I've got some in and I'm really pleased with how that's turned out love it and yeah we're going to get the umbrella out after that's the uh, lazy Susan on there and we're going to put the umbrella up and I have put my egg chair there 
which I think looks really, really nice. I am going to go up into the garage loft uh, in a bit when Les comes back. He's going to get the stairs down for me and get all the cushions down. And then we've got this to do down in this corner. So uh, Les has just gone to fetch the sockets and stuff for here. This pipe has got to be sunk down a bit more, a little bit of an extension piece of pipe put on it up to the wall and then it's going to the wires are going to come up into the consumer unit which is going to be around here somewhere and then we'll have uh, outdoor sockets for uh, the air fryer the kettle or whatever so yeah and then les has got these curbs to put in i've told you that already haven't i so yeah there's plenty to be going on with but i'm really vexed that we haven't got the bloody sofas yet but you know as i say i'm not going to stress it they'll be here monday so yeah that'll be there's obviously going to be another part to this bloody vlog <laughs> this is number five so there's definitely going to be a number six but yeah i think it's looking really really nice with the uh, table and chairs on there and once the brolly's in, you know, uh, we've put the stand underneath there for the brolly, which I jet washed off the other day. And yeah, with all the cushions on and everything, it's going to look really, really nice. So I think what I'm going to do while Les is um, down the town, he's gone to fetch some bits and pieces. I'm going to give this stainless steel a sink, a little wipe over. Because I was telling you, I put all this like... Uh, Ajax kind of stuff on but a bleach one from Astonish and I just rubbed where the lime scale was and it all seems to have come off so I'm gonna yeah I think I'm just gonna give that a wipe over with some um, soapy water and then buff it up yeah so that's what I'm gonna crack on with now so yeah I'll see you in a little while before I get started on cleaning the fence, uh, the sink, not a fence, um, Leslie's back from the town. So what we're going to do, we're going to get some stone down. Oh, it just snapped. I'm going to get some stone down in this little area here. Um, up to the, up to that manhole cover there. So, and then Les can do his little bit of work in the corner. The electrical stuff.
so we've put that bit down now which uh, it's gonna have to be gone over again we've just put it down so that bag was emptied um and ready to use the next bag on the next section so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna clean this sink Les is just removing the taps out of this stainless steel sink because he's bought new taps for it and you can have hot what am I? Them electric taps are they, Les? Yeah. Them electric taps. So they're attached to the electrics and you can have hot and cold water uh, through them. He got them off eBay. Um, so when we're putting them in, I'll show you all that as well. So this has come up really nice. There's a few little marks on it of paint. I mean, it wasn't a perfect item to start with. You know, it had been in storage and stuff. Um, and it is for outside. There's a few little marks in the sink, but this is like dents in the stainless steel and stuff that just won't come off. It's where it's chipped. Uh, the taps, obviously, I'm going to cover that up. Um, yeah, it's come up really nice. Uh, I've got the legs to do, but I'm not going to do them until it's in place. There's no point yet, but the worst is off the top and I'll probably go around with a little little razor blade and get all these little flecks of white paint off as much, or a scourer, um, yeah. So that's that job done. Now I think what I'm going to do next while Les is working in that corner, is clean my windows. Um, I've got to do the frames first. The frames need a good clean. And there's uh, brambles all down the edges and stuff like that. So I think that's going to be my next job, is to clean the frames of the windows. And then when the sun's gone off them completely later on, uh, I'll wash the actual windows themselves. Because there's going to be now more dust now uh there was no point in doing them while there was dust flying everywhere so yeah i think that is my next job is when i'm cleaning windows <laughs> I wish I could make you stay Cause baby I love you Why you tryna break us up When I'm tryna build it up I wish I could make you stop Cause baby I love you Guess I'm gonna dance alone tonight I'm gonna miss your body You know I can never get it right Without you, no so there was a change of plan regarding the cleaning of the windows. Uh, yeah, I'm just soaking them with the elbow grease, giving them a scrub with the brush and washing them off with the uh, hose pipe because doing it by hand, well, I'll be here all bloody day. So yeah, that's one done. Uh, just another three to go. Well, on this side, there's the bedroom ones as well. We're coming to the end of the day now, guys. We're going to pack up. Um, yeah, we've, we've took it quite easy today, to be fair. Well, compared to what we have been doing, I suppose. But yeah, so I cleaned all this and it has come up really nice. And I did give the, the legs and stuff a wipe. So that's that done. Um, I've cleaned the windows and I was filming it and my phone died. So I don't know where that stopped until I come to edit. And Les has put in this consumer unit. Um, he's just put that in place, um, bri not briefly. Oh my God, my mind's gone blank. Eh? Temporarily. Temporarily. <laughs> my mind went blank then. Until tomorrow. Um, he's got a drill in the bottom of there so those cables can go up. And then he can into that consumer unit and then we'll come off it for sockets and stuff along there. And then this will be put in place and I can paint it or stain it or something. Probably wood stain it actually. And then 
I've cleaned the windows and they have come up really, really nice, to be fair. Them sparkling, they need cleaning on the inside now, don't <laughs> So yeah, I've done the windows. Uh, yeah, and that's about it really today. Um, so we're just gonna have a coffee now, tidy up, go and have something to eat, shower and back to bed. Bloody hell, ground dog day or what? So I will see you all tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Good night. God bless. Bye. Bye. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? It's Sunday. Um, I did film a little update yesterday. I didn't actually do a lot yesterday. Um, and when I've gone back to edit it, you could hear the radio over the top of it. And I did put some music you know, in the background to try and disguise the sound of the radio. But it, you could still hear it. So um, it was only a little update of what, what we did just Well, Les worked more than I did yesterday. I didn't do a great deal. I had a bit of a relax and done a bit of sunbathing. Uh, so I'll do it now. I'll give you the update and what we're doing today. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do, I hope you're all okay and I hope you've had a fantastic weekend. Um, what I'm going to do is spin the camera around and I'll take you around and show you how the patio is looking now. I've got a few little bits and pieces on there and what we've done this morning because we have done a little bit this morning and what we are going to do for the rest of the day. Um, furniture is supposed to be coming tomorrow at they said am so hopefully you know first thing and we can get that on and get it sorted but we're, we're really making progress now so I'm just going to spin the camera around and I'll walk you around and show you what we've been doing. Okay right let's start up this end I have well we have put that egg chair there for the time being it is going to stay on the patio but it may have to be moved across when the other furniture comes you know because that's obviously going in this space so we may have to move that across a little bit I've been up the garage loft and got all the cushions down so all the cushions are on the patio table as well we am going to get the umbrella out but Les um, has just got to do a little fix underneath that lazy Susan when this was round the front I think it was last year remember when we had them quite bad storms and the brolly was left in the centre of the table, you know, through the little hole. And the wind was that strong, it ripped the brolly out and bent all the middle of the table. So Leslie's got to put a piece of wood underneath with the, the centre part, you know, from the middle of the table on it. So it's not going to be rocking backwards and forwards in the Lazy Susan. So that's got to be done. So I don't really want to put the umbrella up until Les has done that little bit of a fix under there, which won't take too long. And I've put some lanterns and stuff out. These ones have tea lights in them. But these ones are solar. I had these from b and um, last year. So I've got them to, they're, they're just there for the time being. And then there's another one there that has a candle in it as well. Um, yeah, I'm going to be getting a few more bits and pieces like that to dot around once we've got that furniture in place. And I'm going to Home Bargains on Tuesday, I think, and might have a drive over there and see what they've got in the garden section. That's that lamp lantern from Aldi. And then the other egg chair is there. Again, the cushions are on it and I'm going to be doing this today I'm going to put some flowers in that little planter there I've got all my stuff ready to do that sink right I can show you these taps so these are the taps that I was on about so they've just scraped we've bought some blanks for that hole there um, and these run off electricity Les has just got to put the pipes on the bottom and stuff you know plumb them in to the sink and you just plug them in and this the heater thing must be in here 
and so you can we can have hot water outside so we've got one of them each side and i'm going to get you know the extensions because that doesn't quite reach over to that sink but you can get like an extension can't you that's flexible we like a sprayer on the end so i'm going to get one of them for that well i'm probably going to get one for both sides so they match so that's the taps on as i say they've just got to be plumbed in and also we did this this morning so les got all the curbs in yesterday along here let me just go around this side so all the curbs are in now right up to the edge of the house and what les has got to do now is put those wires up into that box and then he can come off that box and put sockets in you know using all this wire that he, I'm, I'm not very good at electrics but he's going to come across put some sockets in here above the sink obviously for the taps and like i've said before a kettle an air fryer whatever we want to use outside and then there's going to be a shelf here as well which is about a meter long that i can hang all my bits and pieces on you know utensils and i can put some pots and pans on the top of it so that little area is it's now all stoned all the stone is all the way to the end now um we've got to go all along here with some topsoil which we've got some here and you know scrape it all out grass seed it that'll be a final final job uh yeah so that's where we are today and the wood up here um let's could have put plastic trunking on it but we've gone for wood like just so it's a little bit more rustic looking and I'm probably going to paint it grey to match the gazebo or stain it um, grey or something like that, you know, so it all ties in. So, yeah, that's where we are uh, today, Sunday, ready. And we're waiting now for this furniture to come. So, you know, it, it looks more finished. I think um, Les is going to do these wiring this afternoon and we're going to get the sink in place and then he can mark where he wants to put the sockets and um, then we can put the sink back and yeah uh, and then the gazebo on and the barbecue on so it's all falling into place now which I am really pleased about uh, Les is inside at the minute. We've just had a sandwich. It's really warm. Uh, he's just having five minutes inside. He weren't too well yesterday. He, um, while we was on holiday, his elbow all swelled up and all down his arm. And we don't know whether he had uh, a bite or what. But it's still swollen um, round the elbow and along his arm. So we went to the doctors and the doctor gave him naproxen. And I said to him, I says, well, they're in quite strong painkillers. He's not in any pain with it. It's just swollen. And when I looked, it said that they're good for swelling as well. So we took one yesterday and it, it, I'll tell you what, it really knocked him about. I can't take naproxen. They make me feel sick. But it really knocked him about. But he managed to uh, do that bit yesterday. And he was in bed for eight o'clock. But he says he feels much better today and he's not taking any more of them naproxen. And I said to him, I wouldn't either. Uh, so he's going to get back in touch with the doctor and tell him, you know, that the tablets knocked him about. And, uh, you know, I thought they would give him antibiotics or something to set the swelling down. But I don't know. The doctor didn't really seem interested. He said, you know, he, he was listening to him and just was writing the prescription, basically, before he told him what... Well, they're all like that, aren't they? So, yeah, well, not all of them, I shouldn't say that, but, you know, a lot of them, they, they just don't want to hear what you've got to say, do they? Um, but I don't think naproxen was the one. Well, it definitely wasn't because it really knocked him about. But, yeah, he's just having half hour inside because it is extremely warm and he does get overcome with the heat these days. Uh, I mean, he never used to. He's worked all over the Middle East, you know, in the um, years gone by and has been so used to the heat. But working, you know, shoveling and scraping soil and gravel it's a different story isn't it so anyway yeah i am gonna get on now with doing my little planter this one down here i'm gonna leave it there i think it looks quite nice there just by that drain um yeah and that's the flowers that i've chose to put in 
uh, yeah I think that's all the updates for now I really do think it is this is still on the patio because Les needs to cut some more bits and pieces off that look what the heat's done to it look how bent it is <laughs> so I think he's still using that but yeah by the end of the day this should all be off and it'll look nice and tidy ready for the furniture to come tomorrow I may even do um, you know the grey pots that I got from B&M that I'm going to have uh, around here somewhere I may even do those I'll see um, but I'm definitely going to go and do that little blue one now so yeah I'll see you over there and we'll uh, do a bit of flower arranging right so what I've done I've uh, filled with stone as normal and put the oasis stuff in um, is that what it's called oasis is that right floral foam I've put that in and I've got an array of flowers here to put in but I've also got this like I mean I'm not keen on this ivy at all um, around the place but I thought, because this was wrapped around the uh, swingy chair, the one down there, the long one, around the back of it. Um, and I've took it off. And I'm just wondering whether I could use some bits of this, you know, just to trail down the front and uh, the sides and stuff, just as a little bit of something extra. I mean, I don't know whether it will actually go in because it's it's not very it's not very strong at all we, I don't think it'll even go into the oasis I'm not saying that right it don't sound right is it called oasis no, I don't think it I suppose I could just move some stones and put the stones around it and have you know a little bit of that hanging round or feed it through um, once I've put the flowers in I don't know, I'll see. I'm <laughs> just rambling. So, yeah, let's uh, put some of these flowers in. I've got all sorts of different ones. I think I'm going to start with this heather kind of stuff. We've got white, we've got pink. Yeah, and purple. Um, so I think I'm going to start with that and dot that around. I'm thinking to start in the centre, you know. I think that would be the best bet, wouldn't it? To start in the centre and work my way around. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Now I've only got one of these, so I'm going to put this in the centre. I think that'll work out better rather than and then use this as the filler last. I think I'm doing the right thing doing that. Imagine a world where we all belong I'm probably going to throw that in the bin. <laughs> um, I have got these, but I've got some other little bits in the house to put some arrangements in. So I might keep them, them like little tin um, ones of B and ones of Lady Borg. I'll show them. You know, I had them from Aldi. I'll go and get them in a mini. But I, I really think that that is is enough i might get another white one and put one over there let me just go and get one
yeah, that's better, with the white. And I've, I've just popped um, a few of them through and pushed them down, just for something that's a little bit of a different height. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. And it's um, lovely and colourful. It all looks pretty even as regards colour. Uh, yeah yeah I really like that let me know what you think down in the comments because I am actually loving loving doing these little arrangements I really really am I think that looks really pretty there yeah love that love that i don't know whether to put like another pink one over here just to balance that pink and purple out let me get one i've got tons of the stuff <laughs> pink and white go in. in there like so yeah that's Build that gap in. Oh, that looks really nice. Tell you what, you know, these little flowers, them just so cheap and cheerful. I mean, look at the effect of that. It's just incredible, I think, for a few quid. You know, I mean, we, we spent an absolute fortune on real flowers in that fountain over the last few years since we've had it. And I am absolutely atrocious at keeping anything alive apart from me and Les <laughs> um, so yeah that's why I opted for foul flowers um, I mean I can take them out in the autumn wash them all put them away and then put them back next year I can arrange them differently so you know each year it'll look different I can add to take away just so versatile I really really am happy using these foul flowers love that really like that so i'm just going to go and get my um other little couple of planters that i've got and i'll show you them and we'll sit and do those as well i'm at the table now <laughs> these are the little um pots that i had from aldi look at these so one's a bee i've already put the um flower floral foam and the little stones in just to weigh it down a little bit how cute so there's a bee And there's a ladybug as well. How nice are they? And they were seven ninety nine each. They were, and they're, they're quite a decent size. So I'm going to put some some flowers in these now. I've got a few bits on the table here, so I'll just move you around a little bit and tip you down so you can see what I'm doing. So I've got these ones, I've got a blue, a yellow, and a pink. Um, so I think I might put one of these in the middle. Just spread it out a little bit. Cut it down, because I don't think, I think I'm going to need to cut it down a little bit. Yeah, because I don't want it oil up like that, so I'm going to cut it down. Oops. I think I might put the yellow one in the bay. Yeah, let's go with the yellow one inside the bay. I've got that in, I've cut it down. Pushed it in. That is really sweet. And I'm going to go around the edge with these white ones. Just close your eyes And let them rest I know it's hard to fall asleep But do your best Cause there's a place that I go to And that's him done Yeah, I really like him I think he is lovely I will find somewhere for him in a little bit So that's that one And I think in the ladybug I'm going to use the purple one The pinky purple one and pink feather to go around the edges. 
I've done. I've put them little um, fox tails in, in pink, and I've got some in like this yellowy, yellowy colour. So I'm going to put some in the little bee as well. Oh yeah, that's just finished that off. Absolutely gorgeous. So I need to find somewhere for them now. So uh, I don't know whether I'm going to do my big pots today. Um, as he's just started the machines up, I think he's going to empty the dumper and stuff. And um, I think we might going to be moving the sink over now. So I'm going to find somewhere for these. And then when I do my little walk around at the end of the day, I'll show you where I've, um, where I've put them. So yeah, move on to the next job. What we're doing now, my darlings, is... Um, Les has just scraped this little pathway here, which my, my um, Erdy Gurdy used to be at the bottom here. So what he's done is extending the path level with this now, um, just putting some stone on it. You know, he's just scraped it level. He's just putting some more stone on top of it. And then my um, Erdy Gurdy will be in this area somewhere here when we get to put that in. Um, I don't know when that'll be, soon, hopefully. And yeah, so that little job we're just doing now, we've, you know, moved the workbench off here and Les has just got that bit of topsoil and put it all the way along and filled that in. Needs a little bit more up there. And then we're gonna put some grass seed in and give it a water. And yeah, hopefully, well, it will grow back. So yeah, he's just been round and fetched some more stone and he's just putting it along here now and then he'll just rake it out to create that little pathway. I think he's going to put some finer stuff on top of it, some, like what's on the drive, the grey pebbles across the top of, the, of this as well, just to finish it off. But it looks so much better now. Now we've got the, the coloured stone all the way to the end. It really does. Let me just show you where I've just put my little uh, my little flower pots. I've put them over here for the time being, because once the furniture comes, I will have another shufty round of bits and pieces. So I've just popped them on here for now, just next to that basket, and I think they look really sweet. Yeah, so they they probably won't stay there, but that's where I've put them just for now. Um, I don't think we're going to do much else today. I think we're going to put the sink over there so Les can get some measurements. I don't think he's going to do the electrics today because it is extremely, extremely hot here today and it's getting hotter. So, yeah, we'll put, he's probably just going to do this now and then move the sink over, get the measurements, and then that'll probably be it for today. Um, but I'll give you an update in a little while. Right, my darlings, we are down in tools for today. It's extremely hot, and yeah, we've achieved what we wanted to today, well, mostly. So I'll just give you a little walk around again, and then I'm gonna leave this vlog here, and then tomorrow um, will be the start of number six, part six. Leslie's just gonna go and cut the grass around the front on his new mower, <laughs> he's off and I'm gonna do us some dinner. I'm gonna have a shower, um, put a chicken in, have a shower, get my jammers on, and we're gonna relax for the rest of the evening, go indoors now, I think. Cause I think sometimes, you know, it does overcome you, doesn't it, the heat? And I think we've had a bit too much today. We've been out, out here since uh, about half past eight this morning. So yeah, um, we've had enough now. 
Right, I've showed you all this, haven't I? You know, it's looking really nice. I just can't wait for that furniture to come tomorrow and get that on. That'll be the start of the next vlog. So I've, we've done, we've, what we've done today is finished stoning. We've just put the sink in place. That's where the sink's gonna go, there. And now obviously the gazebo will be over the top of it. But we are at the moment undecided what how to fix this gazebo we don't know whether to put it on slabs four slabs you know one two three four under the feet or extend it at the back and fix it to the wall so what we're going to do is we're going to move it on to the patio area tomorrow i think and see where it sits and you know what what is the best way forward of how to fix this gazebo up um, and then once we fix the gazebo up then the last thing off the grass will be the barbecue but Les said tomorrow what he wants to do is get the electrical sockets in which are going to go uh, there's going to be one there one in the middle and one over there for the taps they're, they're proper outside sockets so they'll be all waterproof and everything IP rated I don't know what the writing is for the waterproof now I forget and then this is the shelf that I showed you that I had from Amazon and that is going to go about there above the sink oh <laughs> oh bloody hell my gimbal's just run out of battery okay I've just fixed you sorry um, might be a bit shaky now sorry about that Underneath is going to be the fridge, which I was supposed to clean today, but I got way laid bloody flower arranging and doing other bits, so that can be one of my jobs tomorrow while Les is sorting out the electrics in here. I can clean the fridge, so the fridge is going to go there. I'm going to have a bin or something, you know, perhaps a double bin there, one for recycle, one for food, waste. And Les is going to put a shelf on the bottom of there for me so I can store bits and pieces on there perhaps get a basket with sauces and maybe i don't know yeah uh but or pots and pans i'll say but he's definitely going to put a shelf in that little section there for me it'll sit right on them little silver legs there and he les has scraped my path he's whackered it the whacker is now in retirement guys you've all been saying i bet les is all whackered out <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think I think the whacker's gone into retirement now. I think that was the last bit of whackering along there. And then tomorrow he's levelled all this off again because it was all raised up where he's been driving with the machine. So he's just levelled all that off. And tomorrow, all this grey stone that we use on the drive here, he's got a, loads of that. So he's going to put some more down and he's going to bring it up onto here as well. And he did say that if he gets a chance, he's going to put my Erdi Gerdi up. So that is the state of play at the end of garden vlog number six, uh, number five. And let me just spin you around and I'll say goodbye to you properly. Okay, I'm going to go now. Um, yeah, and just go and get sorted indoors. Look at the state. <laughs> I washed my hair last night. Look at the state of it again. But I, di I didn't take the straightness through it though. I thought, you know, what's the point when I'm just going to bed? Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a shower. And I wore my pyjamas from Timu last night. And oh, they are beautiful. And them slippers, oh my God, they are absolutely gorgeous. And a few of you were asking about the discount code as well on Timu. I will put a community post out, but I'm also going to mention it here. I have got a 30% discount code that they've sent over to me. Um, but they sent it, I'd put the video up before they sent the discount code, but they've sent it now. So I'll leave the discount code on the screen here for Timu. Bloody hell, oh he's uh, got to empty his basket, I was going to say that was quick, he ain't done it yet, he's coming to empty the basket. Um, I'll leave the um, Timu discount code on the screen here, I'll also put a community post out and you can get an extra 30% off, I mean you know it's already cheap and an extra 30% off so you know 
yeah go and get spending on Timo it's not um, an affiliate link or anything it's just a discount code for you guys to use and I am going to use it myself as well so yeah anyway I will uh, put that out on my community post as well yeah right I'm going I hope you've enjoyed vlog number five and my mouth is dry I can't wait to get in and have a cold drink I've been drinking cans of coke all day uh, yeah I'm going don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this content and also subscribe down below if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one I hope your weekend has been amazing and I'll see you all very very soon thanks for tuning in I love you guys loads bye for now bye